So these are books 11 to, no, 10 to, mm, I can't do math. It would be 11 to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? Whatever. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my May wrap up part 3 for 2021. I read a total of 25 books this month so I'm splitting it up into 5 different parts because 25 books in one video is a lot for me because I like to ramble and so that video would be 16 million hours long so we're splitting it up into increments of 5. So these are the next 5 books that I read for the month of May 2021 so without further ado let us get started. The first book I'm going to talk about for this part of the wrap up is Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The book follows Ziva, who is a magical bladesmith who suffers from social anxiety. She is commissioned by a warlord to create a blade for her that will make her unstoppable in battle. So when Ziva creates the blade and discovers the warlord's true intentions, she goes on the run with her younger sister Temra to protect the world from the danger that this magic blade could cause. Along the way they meet a mercenary named Kellen who they hire for protection and they are also joined by Petrick who is a quiet librarian who is also writing a book on magical artifacts and it's like the story of that. I was really excited about this book because The Shadow Between Us by this author was my favorite book in 2020 so I was thinking that I was going to get something similar to that I was wrong, that's not even close to what I got, but I still enjoyed this book. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The book is very slow to begin with, and I think that's what was the difference between The Shadows Between Us and this one. The Shadows Between Us just like came out in a punch and like you were fully invested in the story right away. This one took me a little bit longer to get invested in these characters and the story, but as the story progressed, the pace did pick up and I began became invested in it. I really loved these four characters so much. They were all a lot of fun to read about. I think that they all had very unique personalities that I really liked learning more about as the story progressed. I will say that Ziva is my least favorite out of the four characters, so that was a little disappointing since she is the main character of the story. Just something about her didn't sit well with me. Like, I don't know what it was. I just wasn't the biggest fan of her. I did really like her power, though and I was definitely very intrigued by her magical abilities. I do think that she is definitely a very unlikely hero and I liked that aspect of her character, but I don't know what it was. I just didn't love her the way I loved the other characters. I really like Temra though. I think that she was so much fun and just so fierce and I loved how protective Ziva and Tamara were of each other. I think that the sister bond was one of the best parts of this story. I was a big fan of Kellen. I think he was a lot of fun. I was also a fan of the romance for the most part. It was like an enemies to lovers slow burn romance which I really enjoyed. I love how patient and observant Kellen was of Ziva and just making sure that she was always okay with what was going on. The banter between them made me laugh on more than one occasion. I loved how they weren't trying to be funny but I still loved the two of them together. Petrick was also a really great character and the twists and turns that came with his character I did not see coming at all so that was also really enjoyable. I am definitely intrigued to see where his character goes in the next book which leads me to like my biggest disappointment of this book is that it ended so abruptly. I literally finished the book and thought that there were pages missing because it was like in the middle of the story and then just like stopped and I was like um that's it. Like I understand that it's setting up for the second book but it just came way too fast in my opinion and didn't really lead up to an ending. It was just like talking and then like bleh, done and I was like <laughs> but, but 
no, you know? But I am definitely more intrigued on where the story's going to go now because it ended so abruptly, but still not a fan of that. But yeah, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next, I read Sun Kiss by Casey West. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It follows a girl named Avery who, after a big betrayal by her best friend, is whisked away by her parents and younger sister to stay at a remote camping site with no Wi-Fi for the entire summer. While there, she meets an off-limits staff member named Brooks and as they spend more time together she begins to fall for him. So when an opportunity arises to enter a singing competition with Brooks she jumps on the chance to try something new and it's the story of that. This was your typical light-hearted Casey West book. It had a cute romance, it had summer vibes, it had sibling relationships, family dynamics, friendships, developing relationships, blah blah blah. I don't think it was anything special or original. It was your typical summer romance, but it was still a really quick, fun, easy read. I think that the book was very surface level and it never really dove deep into any specific topic. I did really like the inclusion of the music festival and the songwriting. I think that was the most interesting part of this story. I liked Avery as a main character. I think that she is very relatable. She was still trying to figure out what she wanted from life and I liked how she began to step out of her comfort zone as the story progressed. I also liked Brooks as a character. I think that him and Avery were very cute together. I liked their interaction but I don't think that he was anything special either. He was a very surface level character as well. I really liked the sibling relationship in this and how that was depicted. Lauren and Avery are very different from one another, but you can tell that they still really care about each other and I liked reading about that. Overall, like, it was a cute fluffy romance. It was very predictable, but I always find Casey West books to be predictable, so I wasn't really expecting that much, so three out of five stars. The next book I have is One Last Stop by Casey McQuestin. I gave this a five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. It follows 23 year old August who moves to New York City and moves into an apartment with a ragtag bunch of individuals. One day on the subway she meets a gorgeous girl named Jane and as they continue to commute together she learns more about her and her crush on her grows stronger and that's when she discovers that Jane is actually from the 1970s and is stuck on the Q train in some kind of time loop. So August takes it upon herself to free her from this loop and it's like the story of that. I was so excited about this book after I read Red, White, and Royal Blue by this author. It became one of my favorites and I just knew that I needed to have this book in my life and I was not disappointed. I honestly think that I like this book better than Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is shocking because I really loved that book. I just think that the characters in this book are so amazing. They are all so unique and lovable. Nico, Isla, and Wes are just some of the brightest side characters I've ever read. There's also a drag queen named Annie Depressant, and if you know me, <laughs> I absolutely adore drag queens. I just think they are incredible. So I was very excited to discover that this book follows a drag queen character. I just think that the found family in this is so well done and I just loved every second and every interaction between these crazy characters. I'm also just a big fan of the love interest, Jane. I had the biggest crush on her throughout the entire book. I was obsessed and just could not get enough of her. I just think the romance between Jane and August was just like chef kiss perfection and I could not get enough of it. I read this book so quickly. I also just think that there is so much representation in this book. Like August is a curvy bisexual, Jane is a Chinese lesbian, Nico is a trans male Latino, and a psychic which I thought was a really cool aspect of the story but that's besides the point. Mila is a black queer, Wes is a Jewish queer, Isaiah or antidepressant is a drag queen. Like there is just so much LGBTQIA plus community in this book. It is definitely made for that community and I just loved it so much. There's also a lot of discussion about queer people of color and how they have paved our lives and how they fought for their rights and freedoms and how that has affected us in this day and age. And I just really liked it because it's done in such a way that it's not like preachy or anything. Like it was just very subtle and 
you learn a lot of history in this book that I wasn't expecting to read about. I also thought that the incorporation of the cold case with August's uncle was really interesting and I was very invested in figuring out what happened to him as well as the romance aspects of this book. So I just think that it was a very well-rounded book. I love these characters. I'm obsessed. Please read it when it comes out because I think it comes out June 1st. So by the time you see this video, it's out and everybody needs to read it because I need to shout about it to more people. The next next book I read was One by One by Ruth Ware. I give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This follows a group of people who attend a work retreat at a cozy little ski chalet. Things take a turn for the worst when an avalanche hits and the remaining people of their party have to hunker down and wait for the rescue team to arrive. One team member has already been killed during the avalanche and then another team member is murdered and fingers start to point at who may be the culprit behind the death. Tensions are high as the employees are picked off one by one and nobody can be trusted and it's like the story of that. So I didn't have the highest hopes going into this because I saw a lot of negative reviews on it so I had very very low expectations and I won't lie and say that this book isn't very predictable because it definitely is but I still had a good time reading it. I was able to call who the killer was a few chapters in but I don't necessarily think that it was trying to be hidden. The book does start off pretty slow because we are being introduced to the numerous characters and there are a lot of characters in this but as the deaths start to pile up it definitely picks up speed. I do think that the book definitely could have been a lot shorter than what it was. By the end of the book there were a lot of chapters that I just found unnecessary to the story and didn't really give anything to it. I did really think that the way the story is told in dual perspective was really interesting and a really great way to tell this story. We get a perspective from Liz who is one of the Snoop employees who are the people on the retreat and then we also got a perspective from Aaron who is one of the chalet employees. We would end up getting told the same scene twice from the two different perspectives but the way that it was done was really interesting and definitely brought me more into the story. It was just interesting to see it from both sides of the playing field if that makes sense but overall like it was an enjoyable read. It was very quick to read and I do think that people should give it a chance because I actually enjoyed it even though there are a lot of negative reviews out there. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about for this part of the wrap-up is Heroin by Mindy McGinnis. I give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars, which I did not expect to like this book as much as I did, so it was a great surprise. This follows Mickey Catalan, who is a very talented baseball catcher. She is destined to play college baseball, but then she is in a life-altering car crash that leaves her severely injured and her life is drastically changed. During her recovery, she is hooked on oxy pills and they not only help with her pain but they also just make her feel good in general. She begins to make some new friends that have similar interests to her and that's when her new hobby becomes less about the pain and more to do with the want and it's like the story of that. I think that this is a really chilling story because Mickey's story is something that can happen to literally anyone and being an athlete myself and having a career ending injury it was just more relatable to me, I think. I never had to go on to any pain medication because mine was just a concussion and you don't do that for concussions, but I definitely felt heartbroken for Mickey and what she was going through because all the feelings of the not knowing who you are anymore and just being very lost, I understood it completely. This is not a book that will put you in a good mood. It's heartbreaking and devastating, but it will definitely open your eyes to Mickey and her story. Right from the prologue, I was instantly hooked on this story. Mickey is definitely not a likable character, so don't go into this thinking that you're going to root for her or anything because she is an addict and she has an addict mindset, so the things that she does in this book are very questionable, but again, she's an addict, so it makes sense. I think that the author did an amazing job with this character and humanizing her and I really like the portrayal of addiction and withdrawal and the lengths that people will go to to feed their habit. It was just really well done and I think that it is a really important story and I wish more people would pick it up because I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it but definitely know the triggers going into it like it's a heavy book. 
Alright everybody, so that was part three of five for my May wrap-up 2021. I will leave the links to the other wrap-ups down below once they're uploaded if you want to check out the other books that I read this month. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!